Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael from Fast Linux Journal. In today's world where artificial intelligence is becoming more and more integrated into everyday life, the question arises, does Linux need an AI assistant? At first glance this seems inappropriate as Linux is often associated with freedom, customizability and control over one's own system. But precisely because Linux is so flexible and open, an AI assistant could offer a new level of interaction and efficiency without jeopardizing the system's core values. Sounds interesting? Let's get it started. Linux has always been an operating system that is developed and maintained by an active community. It is characterized by its stability, security and customizability and is used in many areas of the IT world from servers to high-end developer workstations. Some Linux users appreciate the fact that it encourages them to get to grips with the system, understand it and find solutions to problems themselves. At first glance, this may seem contradictory to an AI assistant that aims to relieve users of tasks and make it as easy as possible to use. But this is exactly where the potential lies. An AI assistant under Linux could not only automate everyday tasks, but also act as a learning aid. Many newcomers find it challenging to get started with Linux, especially if they are coming from other operating systems such as Windows or Mac OS. In these cases, an AI assistant could take over the role of a mentor, not only solving problems, but also explaining to the user how to solve them. This would allow new Linux users to learn how the system works more quickly and more experienced users to complete routine tasks more efficiently. Another area in which an AI system could be of great benefit is system optimization. Linux offers an incredible wealth of configuration options which makes it very attractive to advanced users. But this flexibility can also be overwhelming. An intelligent assistant could intervene here by making recommendations based on users' habits. It could make suggestions on system performance, optimize processes and even remind users of security risks all in real time and personalized to user specific requirement. Especially in the area of security, an AI assistant on Linux could be particularly valuable. Linux is known for its robustness against cyber attacks, but threats are constantly involving. An AI assistant that continuously monitors the system, recognizes unusual activities and suggests immediate actions could take security to a new level. This functionality would be of particular interest to companies and server administrators who are often under time pressure and need to react quickly. Critical infrastructure comes to mind here. But an AI assistant could offer even more. In the development sector, where Linux plays a dominant role, an AI supported tool could help developers to work more efficiently. For example, it could help to analyze code, identify errors, or even make suggestions for optimization. The ability to automate complex development processes while retaining full control over the system could significantly increase productivity without compromising the flexibility and freedom of Linux. Nevertheless, there are some legitimate concerns. Some users value the operating system precisely because of its independence from large companies and the transparency of the open source code. An AI assistant could be seen as an intrusion into this philosophy if it's not open source or collecting data without the users being able to control this precisely. For some companies, this collected data is hard cash, allowing them to supplement or refine user profiles. These concerns should be taken seriously. A Linux AI assistant would therefore also have to be open source and offer users full control over its functions and data processing. It would have to be functional in a decentralized manner on the user's device. This is the only way it could gain the trust of the FOSS community.
A critical look at the integration of AI in Linux should address an important question. Will we lose our ability to think for ourselves and make decisions if we rely too much on AI assistance? Linux is an operating system that has always catered to users who want to actively engage with technology. It encourages learning, problem solving and the development of skills that go beyond the everyday life of a normal computer user. The idea of handing these processes over to an AI could lead to humans forgetting how to think for themselves and master technical challenges. There is a risk that an AI assistant that takes on more and more tasks will not only make work easier, but also disempower users to a certain extent. Linux users in particular appreciate the control that the operating system gives them. They consciously choose it in order to understand the system and customize it to their needs. By letting an AI take on this responsibility, the user may lose direct contact with the system. The constant automation of tasks could lead to many people losing the ability to immerse themselves deeply in the system, solve problems themselves or develop new skills. People could become dumbed down. In conclusion, it can be said that Linux could certainly benefit from an AI assistant, but only if it respects and honors the fundamental values of the system and those of the users. The introduction of such an AI assistant should not be aimed at convenience, but at supporting, learning and optimization. A well-designed AI assistant could amplify the power of Linux by helping users get the most out of their system without giving up control. In a world increasingly characterized by automation and smart technology, Linux could even extend its leadership role with an AI assistant while maintaining its unique philosophy. I'm both positive and skeptical about AI at the same time. I welcome it as a supplement, but I reject it as a replacement. How do you see it? Feel free to write your opinion in the comments and then we can exchange ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, click on thumbs up and activate the bell. That's how the YouTube business works and I say thank you for your support. I have two more videos in the end card for you. One analyzes the Microsoft service contract with regards to AI features, especially if you use Windows and or Microsoft Office, you should know about it. The other video deals with data protection and privacy in connection with why Linux will be the better choice. You see, interesting topics. Feel free to take a look. Thank you for the kind attention, ladies and gentlemen. See you soon. Peace.